to the, it says, for we are God's fellow workers. You are God's field. You are God's building. Amen. We could period right there and just begin to say, you know, what's in this building? What needs to be evacuated? What needs to be cleaned up? There's some stuff in our hearts that need to be cleaned up. So according to the grace of God, which was given to me, Paul saying this as a wise master builder, I have laid the foundation and another builds on it. But let each one, and this is, some of this is like peak that I want you to see, but let each one take heed how he builds on it. For no other foundation can anyone lay than that which is laid, which is Jesus Christ. So, yes, hallelujah. So now if anyone builds on this foundation with gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, straw, each one's work will become clear for the day will declare it. That day being the end of time, the day that, you know, that God judges all things because it will be revealed by fire and the fire will test each one's work of what sort it is. If anyone's work, which he has built on, it endures, he'll receive a reward. But if anyone's work is burned, he will suffer loss. But he himself will be saved, yet so through fire. Do you not know that you are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwells in you? If anyone defiles the temple of God, God will destroy him, for the temple of God is holy, which temple you are. I left that last piece in here, not because I want you to know that God will destroy you, but because I want you to know that you are holy. And we've been on this holy thing for a long time, really trying to build you to that place where you understand what holiness looks like. And, and we are called to be holy. But also to repeat to you, you literally house the spirit of the creator inside of you. 